Hi everyone, this is Rob Birdwell, and this is a technical and musical kind of a post. Uh, about a few years ago I purchased a Jam Man, the mono version, and I use it for looping and live stuff, but uh, I had a librarian tool for it and it went uh, kaput once I upgraded to Windows 7. Anyway, I've been exploring with the possibility for a while of creating my own, and I just wanted to kind of document this milestone uh, in the code where I've actually uh, created an import utility and a the rudiments of a manager. Still more coding to go, coding to go but uh, here's uh, a quick update of uh, where I'm at right now. Probably point one of version 1.0, but pr still pretty close. Uh, lots of the pieces are in place. So let me go to my development environment and I'll debug it, <clears throat> but I'll just run it. Okay, let's see if you can... I don't know if you can see this very clearly, but this is my UI right now. Uh, there's there are some settings uh, <laughs> where you can specify your library file and that's kind of the my approach is to kind of manage it in the library on the left hand side and then manage your jam man so right now I've got an empty library there's some kind of debugging stuff here and then some of the details about the loop are in the lower right corner here anyway the first step once I've created a library and you, anyone can do this. Uh, you'll want to connect your Jam Man. The Jam Man is usually a, a, on a on a smart media or a media device. It, in theory, it can be any folder. So I'm just taking that approach. So right now I'm connected. I'm going to connect to a kind of a virtual Jam Man here, and it'll be Jam Man my copy. This is the copy. This directory is a copy from that disk that I had just for my testing here. So I've connected to a device, and I'm pretending that you're doing this for the first time. So, hey, uh, you get this message saying, this Jam Man, you know, appears to have been synced with the Looper Tools Manager. Would you like to import all of those items into your current library so they can be synced and updated? Uh, that may not be the final message, but the idea is that you can do that. So I'll just say yes, and at that point it's importing the slots, reading the looper tools XML, and then bringing them into the library. You can kind of see some progress going on there, hopefully. It's up to slot 41. <clears throat> now everything that goes into this library that I have here um, is is its own file. It, I literally call the the WAV files give them a totally new name so you can manage it. Yay! And that's actually the first time I've seen that. So, uh, <laughs> so here on the left is my library, which can have you know more than 99 items in it, um, and it imported them all. <clears throat> now I haven't done much with regard to the library or the 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 section over here so when you click an item it should show its properties here I haven't done that part but I've got all the data in place um, so right now with your library uh, you can you can reorder things if you like um, over here and I'll probably figure out ways to do that but anyway uh, that's it uh, oh and it plays back I'll probably move these play controls up higher um, so there is just playing from my speaker, and I can. All right. So now, finally, for the first time in a couple years, my Jam Man has the makings of a librarian manager. What's '80s bass drum groove? Yeah. Some of these grooves I created on the fly with um, various electronic things. Anyway, uh, the, J the Jam Man Mono is still a nice device. I like it. Um, in theory, I can adjust this and tune it so um, you can specify a library that can handle stereo. I don't see why not, and I'm perplexed why the uh, Jam Man Librarian, the free one from Digitech or whoever did it, uh, didn't take that into account. <clears throat> anyway, you can untick this box right now, and anything that goes into the library could be whatever you want. But the Jam Man Classic, at least, is pretty finicky. Well, 
it only can play uh, mono 44.1 uh, wave files. So uh, the Jamman Stereo, I don't have that device, but I'm assuming uh, it's similar and should be able to detect it. Anyway, uh, there's the start. I know many people have said they were going to write a Jamman classic librarian. I'm actually almost very close to being done with this. Uh, I'll price it to, uh, you know, at a very affordable kind of thing, and I'll be interested in people who want to test it out. And uh, hopefully it'll be a useful tool, and I'm writing it for myself first. <laughs> so anyway, that's all for now.